Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,210. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 1,210 to 1,214 and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we want to revisit a topic we've had two other times. We have four columns, and I need to combine them into a single column. And actually, we can go over and look at the answer into a single column and then make a pivot table that cross tabulates and calculates the proportion of errors which is the yes for each one of the years. Now, actually, back in Statistics 72, we did it longhand. We just powered our way through each one of the columns using formulas. Then in Exometric 1208, we actually combined the four columns into one table and did a pivot table. But there in 1208, we did it manually, which is not so hard to do, but here. We got to check out Power Query to combine the four columns. And the advantage is that it will be dynamic. We can change the data or add new years, and everything will update. Now, as always, I always have to thank Bill Sizzes from YouTube. He taught me most of the tricks I know about Power Query. Now, we could do this individually, create an Excel table, Excel table, Excel table, Excel table, and then import each one of them and combine them using the table.combine function. But forget that. If I'm going to use Power Query, I'm going to create a single table. Now notice, control down arrow, we have a different number of records for each one of the years. But that's no problem. Control up arrow, I'm simply going to delete the columns between each one. Clicking on the C, holding Control, clicking on the E, holding Control, clicking on the G, and right click Delete. No problem. Now we have a complete table. And when I use the keyboard Control T to create a table, notice that it went all the way down to 390. So it got the very last record in the tallest column. When I click OK, I could prove it to myself, Control down arrow. Even though there's a bunch of empty cells over here, it will not matter at all. Control up arrow. I definitely want to name this table. I go over to Table Tools Design. And up here in Properties, I can click or I can use Alt J T A. And that jumps me right up there. And I'm going to call this Error by Year underscore Table and Enter. All right, now I'm going to go up to Power Query. And I'm still using the add-in in 2013. Next version, Power Query is supposed to be on the data ribbon. But I'm going to go ahead and go up to Power Query from Table. Instantly, it opens up the editor. You can see it got the name. I love that. Field names at the top. I really want a single column with the years and a single column with yes and no. So I highlight. I click on the first column header. Hold Shift. Click on the last column header to highlight all those tables. Transform. Go up to Unpivot Columns. I click. And just like that, year and error. I'm going to double click the attribute and call this field year. Double click value and call this error. Enter. There are my steps. There's the name. Now I can go to the home, close and load to. And I want to load it to, not a connection, but a table. I want to put it on this existing sheet. Click the Collapse button. Now I'm going to add a new column and some new records. So I'm going to make sure and put it far enough over, like in J8. And when I click OK, click Load, just like that. I have my consolidated single table. Control down arrow, look at that. Control up arrow. Now I can make a pivot table. Now I could have used the group feature to make this a little bit more consolidated, but forget it. I'm going to use a pivot table. Year and error is perfect. Click in a single cell. I could go up to Insert and Pivot Table. I'm going to use the keyboard Alt and V. I want to put it on this existing sheet location. I'm going to try and put it right. Two columns over M8. Click OK. Now it's just a straight pivot table that's linked to my table created by Power Query, which is linked to the Excel table, all dynamic. I'm going to drag year down to columns, error down to rows, and then error down to values. And just like that, I have my cross tabulated. These are called observed frequencies. I definitely don't like column labels and row labels, so I'm going to go up to Design. 
over to Layout, Report Layout, and either Outline or Tabular. I'm going to highlight the whole table, Control Asterisk, Control C, click right below, whoop, whoop, Control V, and then inside the table, right click, Show Values As, and I need percent of column total to show the percent of no and yes, error rate and no error rate for each one of the years. That is simply amazing. Now, the cool thing about Power Query, of course, is this is dynamic. If I change any of the data or add columns, the Power Query update and then the pivot table will update. So now over here, you know what? I made an error with 2011. Now I'm going to Control Shift Down Arrow to highlight and Control C. I'm noticing this is a lot taller than anything in that table, but it won't matter. Control C, Control Home. Just to look, click in the cell B9, Control Down Arrow. And if I scroll down, I can see the bottom of the table, and you can see that little Expand button is row 390. Control up arrow, Control up arrow. I'm very carefully going to click in B9, right click, and I'm going to paste Values Only, and instantly Control down arrow. Our table has expanded. Control Home. Now, when I come over here, I'm going to refresh the Power Query output. Right click, Refresh. And then I'm going to come over to my pivot tables, right click, refresh. And it looks like I forgot to change the setting on these pivot tables to not change column widths when I refresh, which is going to be annoying because we're going to refresh a few times. So I'm going to highlight all of the columns and click and drag. And there we have changed from our original count to a new count of no's, 361, and yes is 50. And there are some new percentages. Now, with the Excel table feature, I can grab an entire new column. There's the field name, Control-Shift-Down arrow, and all the records, Control-C, Control-Home. And right here, I'm going to right click, Paste Values Only, and instantly the table updates. That is totally amazing. Right click to refresh the Power Query table, and then come over here, right click, and refresh my pivot tables. Come up here. I forgot to change that setting, so I'm doing it manually. Click and drag, and look at that. My observed frequencies totally update. New 2011 data, new 2015, and our error rate for each year. Boom, right there, totally dynamic. Love Power Query. So dynamic. We took those four separate columns, deleted the columns, created a table, imported it, unpivoted, created our Power Query output, created our pivot tables, and even updated the data. All right, we'll see you next trip.